How's it going, everybody? We're on to our week number five of online schooling here, uh, starting our tennis unit. Uh, you can see the only assignment you have this week is a, tenant, a tennis test. It's 18 questions. You'll need to score a 12 out of 18 to pass the test. Um, check the study guides thoroughly. Try to understand the history a little bit, where tennis came from. Um, but more importantly, you want to know about the scoring. Scoring in tennis is uh, quite different and tough to get used to, especially since we cannot actually play in the courts. So the scores always start out love, love. Uh, love equals zero. In tennis, um, whoever wins the first point scores a 15. So if the server was the one scoring, as you can kind of see here, uh, down towards the middle, one point server, zero points receiver, the score would be 15, love. Two point server, zero points receiver, the score is 30, love. Um, and then three points, seems like it goes up by 15 point in increments, but now it goes three points server, zero points receiver. And instead of going to 45, it goes to 40, love. Uh, if the receiver scores their first point in the next one, it's 40-15. Uh, their second point makes it 40-30. Um, they tie it up at three points for both teams. Uh, the term is now called deuce. So whoever scores uh, first after deuce has the advantage. In this case, on your study guide, the receiver scored the fourth point. The server still has only three points. So it's called advantage out which means the receiver has the advantage. If the rece receiver is going to win the next point, they would win the game, and they'd actually be up one to nothing. Um, in this scenario, though, the server scores uh, the, the first point after the advantage out. That makes it deuce again, so it's deuce. And then the server scores again, it makes it five to four, but we don't remember it five four, we just call it advantage in. So that means the server has the advantage. And the server scores one more time and they win the game. Then if we're playing for real, the serve would go to the receiving side. So the receiver would now be serving. The score would be one to nothing if that were the first game of the match. And you continue to play as you can see here in sets. You play until someone wins six games, but you must win by two games. And then Tennis is generally played best out of three sets, but occasionally, especially professional men, they'll play best out of five sets. So some of the basic rules, all lines are in, okay, similar to volleyball and badminton. Um, terms, trying to understand this, terms. Some of them are similar to other sports, like an ace in volleyball, a serve that can't be returned, is untouched, same thing in tennis. So, and then if I click on the next side, you got a lot of terms, okay, for the study guide. So, uh, I'd really review those terms, and then you can kind of check out the court as well. This is what the court looks like. Um, singles plays a narrow sidelines. Doubles plays a wider court, similar to badminton. You have an alley between it. The alley is out of bounds if you're playing singles. Uh, also like badminton, you serve diagonal. You start on the right side, just like you would for badminton. Unlike badminton, you serve from behind the baseline because the tennis ball will travel much farther in the air after you hit it. So uh, check out those terms. Check out the study guide. Um, there's also rules, which they do a nice job of explaining it. You can check that out as well. So. Um, that is our tennis study guide. Please email me or come visit during some office hours if you have any questions.